Hey guys, what is up? It is me, your boy J Plays P, and welcome back to a new Minecraft video together with Yannick. So we're gonna check out something pretty amazing, and it's super much fun to build, and it's really easy to recreate in your own world. So let's get right into this. As you see behind me, we got the laser door that actually can kill you when you try to go inside, like you guys could see in the intro. And it's really good to protect your stuff or anything you want to, like cookies, gold, diamonds, from other players. And it only works on survival. So nothing really happens when I go inside, so because I'm actually on creative. So that's why it only works for survival players, but it's still awesome. So we can actually go inside of this and we will probably die like this. So you have no any chances to go inside of this, like go go inside Yannick just show us how it works like you see you can't just get into it whatever you try you won't be able to get inside of this door to actually steal something <laughs> and that's pretty funny and uh, really awesome to do and it only needs four commands that you guys have to put into command blocks and that's all you gotta do you can actually also turn this on and off which is amazing like if you want to have it closed so nobody can get inside you can do it <laughs> hey don't push me inside of this don't do this I'm trying to put oh no 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 here you guys can see two buttons one says the deactivate and one says activate so you guys can already see it's activated so it is red and we will die when we just move inside of this and you guys can see already what we are using for that <laughs> okay that's super fun yeah you know you know it's Yannick and um, if you guys want to actually just go inside it without dying you can actually um, use the deactivate button to actually deactivate it and it should be turning out green quick and you guys can see now you guys can move in without dying so that's probably really fun and easy to do yourself this laser door is amazing you guys can turn it off and on you probably should hide the buttons so nobody can actually get to you and actually now I'm stuck in here how do I get out now oh okay okay it's, oh, it's it's turning out green again. <laughs> okay, you guys can see that's probably working really good. Here you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can use it for your house, your... Lol. <laughs> subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Make sure to subscribe to Yannick DE2. He's the one who got this idea with the laser door. You can also use this as a trap. So go inside of this. And now when he's inside this, you guys can actually activate that as a trap. Now he's actually stuck in there forever. So you guys probably can use it as a house door or maybe as a prison or actually to pr uh, protect anything you want like we did here with cookies which kind of disappeared and he tried to escape bro. So now let's get into how we will actually make this possible like we also need some stuff or things that we need to build it. So we're using command blocks actually so that's what we need and and we need um those glass patterns which i don't know what they call it actually and we could use iron blocks or whatever block you want like just a block that doesn't get e destroyed that easy and um glasses like in different colors we need the green one and the red one of course to make it like closed and opened and also the blue one here down below to actually put them on here so the first thing we guys can do is um, give ourselves a command which is to give us um all a common block which we can do by this great and what we also need is buttons which i actually forgot to add here which we can find easily here from the inventory and uh, now we have two command blocks so we should actually also get some <laughs> look at that is this actually bigger and oh my goodness look at that what are you doing Yannick look at look at the size of the head so we will actually just make a door right here we're gonna use a 4x4 four four door which I think sounds good like the one we are using behind me so this is the way we guys can actually enter this. This is the size of the door and you guys can see it's the same size as there. And uh, what we have to do is just dig down here two times like this and put in um, 
you know, the glasses. Wait a second, we also need to dig down three blocks down because we need to place iron around here. So we're actually digging out also the sides here around like that. And Yannick is also helping me right now. Oh, don't destroy anything here. Good. So now we can actually place iron blocks in around here. Now we need those beacons here to actually uh, make it possible to use like that. And wait, oh, Yannick did place them already. <laughs> oh, great. Thank you. Um, now they should work. Oh, okay, now they work. So this is the somehow the door and we should use glasses to actually um, cover this up because uh, in the update or in the beta we are in at the moment, the blocks will actually like I'm gonna show it to you quick you guys will see it won't work like look it just turned off so we have to put glass what we also should do is to actually go to the settings and uh, just go a bit down here where you guys can use the wall options and turn on show coordinates which should help you actually um for the commands that we're gonna do so you guys can see on the left side of my screen that there is the coordinates. So these are the first two command blocks that we will need and for those commands we will put in the fill command which we can do easily by just going to click in this one. So this one is actually going to be the command that will actually um, deactivate or activate the command which we will do right now. So we're gonna go and say or write or type in like fill the command that fills the places around and uh, then we actually also have to go and check out the coordinates so the first coordinate is 1136 to 3 and 29 I'm just gonna write it down quick what you guys do now is you just walk up to the next or to the last be beacon here from that point where you guys got the coordinates and you see we are uh, having three coordinates more on that part so we should also write down these coordinates and what we do now is we will back up to this comment block here and put in the coordinates that we just got. So that means it was 1, 1, 3, 6 and then um, leave a space between them and then the number 3 and then we got 29. What we do now is we actually paste the same um, coordinates again but this time the coordinates from three blocks far or away from that like one one three nine and then three and twenty nine so that's the command for the coordinates and the fill command but now we just have to type in what we want to add there so we want to place a uh, stained glass there so we're gonna go for stained glass here and actually to get the red color of, of stained glass you just have to leave a space between that and paste the number 14 which is for the color red and that's all you gotta do for this one so here we go now it should probably work um what what's that what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> look at him look at, at the villager you know yo what are you doing down there all right, I just found the mistake. I did write stained glass wrong. That's why it didn't work. So let's just quick change that quick. I was like already confused why that didn't work out. But now you guys can see it changed to the red color. So the same thing will be done with the green ones. So you guys do the same. Just change the number at the end for the green color. Like just go ahead. 1, 1, 3, 6. And then leave a space. 3, Two, nine and then again one one three nine and then the number for green is if I'm not wrong five so that's all you gotta do and just press that button to make it work and there we go it works so this is the first step you guys do actually just making the colors you can also actually place um, red and green here so to make yourself sure which one is the right button so in this one we will put this here like it doesn't matter where you actually put it but this time we're gonna use the test for block command so slash test for block and then you guys have to uh, put in the coordinates of the stained glass 1136 stained glass 14 so we want to make the command only work for the red color 
so the green color won't kill us actually just the red one what we do also need to do here we should actually also on put it on repeat so that's also important and uh, what we also need now is a different command which we should also try to bring the armor or the arrow in the right direction like here it shows this way and in this one we will put a kind of a longer command which is the effect command we will put in effect and then um, the add all entities or you can also just do it for players or if you want to make it for anybody or anything you guys can also put it on entity and we will just put in the coordinates again so that's the command that we just put in so there are the coordinates and then the effect itself and then we will pay it, uh, put in D and then also the coordinates again so this time we say tree high and tree to the right side so this is the next command that we will put in so you guys can see that's the effect command with uh, and then the uh, add E shows you how or who is gonna get F, um, actually get this effect if he steps in and then the coordinates and then the coordinates of um, how long and how far away it will actually activate which I will show you later on you guys can see the tree and tree one and there is zero and I will tell you the meaning about that sooner and then we will get the command or the effect that will happen if you just get into this which is an instant damage and then you just put in one to one true that's all you gotta do and uh, if you did that you also have to make sure it is on chain so what I mean by tree or tree is actually this is the first coordinate that we put in so if you go from that point three higher and three more to the left you will die so one two three this three points and this one makes a file or field that you guys will die in so what i forgot to mention is that we actually have to put in this also on conditional and always active and this one too so always active but it can be unconditional yeah you probably saw that if you walk in you will die like that boom so that's how it works pretty easy to remake and only needs four command blocks like this that's all you gotta do to make something like this which is pretty amazing so thanks so much actually for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and if you enjoyed this tutorial or if it was helpful make sure to subscribe for more and also make sure to check out Yannick who does awesome command block creations he is amazing check him out and uh, look what he can do with those villagers so if you actually want to see how this works make sure to let me know that in the comments because that is kind of weird but thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and peace out